Hey guys, I'm just here to inform you that my Instagram got deleted because I started some shit with Cray Sean and she got butt hurt. First of all, I don't know what separates me from a one hit wonder superstar as far as rap goes, but Instagram is really missing out now, now that my 5,500 or so picture collection is gone. They won't be receiving any new anything from me. I'm not creating a new Instagram. I didn't make one Instagram in the past that had over 12,000 pictures of it for it to get deleted for some unknown reason because that was before I even posted nude pictures that were censored. And that pissed me off, and now my new account got deleted with five th over 5,000 pictures. And you know, that's a lot of memories down the drain for some motherfuckers counting on me to bring them into the future away from all the fucking hideousness of the past. You know I'm the only one carrying this entire team of rappers... Bitch, if you think you can out-rap me, I fucking dare you to try me. I already know that pretty much every rapper on YouTube, well, it doesn't just have to be YouTube, any rapper of the new era stole my raps. Even Sean's one-hit wonder Gucci Gucci has a line of mine in it. And I find it really ironic that that bitch is in debt now and she didn't pay anyone. She didn't pay me. She's just in debt and living a life. Supposedly she owes Sony money and I really don't care because I'm not a dumbass that lands myself in debt. I don't go above and beyond my means. I think I know what the fucking value of a dollar is. I don't fucking get fronts on drugs or something that causes me to fall into debt. She's got one song out and Instagram considers her so much more of a component that they need in their little program. I posted and updated every day so that my people could have something new to wake up to. And I don't know how upset they're going to be that my Instagram's gone and I'm not creating another one. But I guess I just feel bad for the idiots that think Cray Sean is better than me when I rapped part of her song in Gucci Gucci, so she's not better than me. If anything, I carried her throughout that whole song. And now she's got, like, breast implants, and she's been sober for three years. I don't know. I guess I'm just not impressed. So I talked some shit, and my account got deleted. And if Instagram really wants to consider Cray Sean a more valuable member of their little gay ass team than me be my guest it just sucks that I put so long so much time spent so long putting my Instagram together so it would be perfectly in sync and that it would run beautifully and I could just go on Instagram and look at my pictures from years ago from months ago and just enjoy them but obviously Instagram doesn't give a fuck about me It's obvious. Honestly, I was the most interesting thing on Instagram. Maybe it didn't make sense to your puny little head, but it I said some real ass shit. I got all my thoughts out on Instagram, and finally they were organized, and I was going to review them right after I was done talking shit to Krayshawn, and basically decide where my life was headed next, but you know, that's not really on Instagram's agenda either.
They don't care who they delete and make upset. They don't care that they upset me. They don't care that they upset my fans. They only care that I upset Cray Sean, the one-hit wonder that stole my lyrics for her song. Corny ass shit. So I guess I won't be sharing sexy or beautiful pictures of me anymore since Cray Sean has to rule the fucking motherboard or some shit. You know that pussy fucking reported me right away and my Instagram was blocked within like 15 minutes. Get the fucking wedgie out of your ass and realize that you'd be nowhere without me bitch and to stop fucking with me. Oh, I've been sober for three years, and I... That's what her caption said on her new picture. I've been sober for three years. I'm so proud, and everyone's like, oh, good job, Krishan. Bitch, do you know that that's my money that you spent on heroin or whatever the fuck drug you were addicted to? Because, yeah, you're not making that much money anymore. You're not really even in the criteria of anyone really knowing who you are. You're pretty much sinking into the past with all my new raps that I've created and all these other bitches seem to steal. And I guess I'm just wondering, does Krayshawn have anything to do with all these other random bitches stealing my raps? Because she thought that she could, like, outdo me because she stole my raps and she still wanted that extension in her popularity even though she couldn't even finish her own song. So she got all her lame-ass cunt friends to start stealing my raps so they could join her in the fucking shit show fest of fucking limelight being dispersed to idiots. Honestly, I don't care anymore. Instagram was something that I really cared about. But obviously they're too immature to fucking handle anything real. I mean, it was about that time that they deleted it anyway because they kept saying your account is at risk for being deleted at some of the pictures that I post because they were nude and censored. And honestly, I don't see a problem with that. I honestly think they're just, like, prudes that don't get any, so they try to stay relevant by keeping up with the stars, but Cray Sean is so fucking old, like, that just goes to show how old Instagram is. They are literally on each other's anuses trying to keep up with some wave, but really they're just causing madness because they're all fucking crazy and everyone believes in them. And the reason they're crazy and that their madness is being spread is because they know damn well they steal lyrics and that they're going to get caught by God or they're never going to talk to God again because they don't have the guts to tell them the truth that they stole my lyrics. And that's why we follow loser celebrities, everyone. And why no one else gets ahead, because they have us all up their ass, continuously trying to be on top of us, trying to be the best, when really all they're doing is congratulating themselves for being three years sober, and that's about it.